Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, what's new in Pro Presenter 7131? Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 people? I mean, actually, I guess it's closer to 11,000 now that have subscribed and clicked on the little bell icon so that they can be among the first to know about the new tutorials that I share. So normally what happens in ProPresenter is there's the major version, and I say normally, this is in ProPresenter 7. Uh, there's the major version, so it's 7 is the overarching, I think ProPresenter 7 is branding. Renewed Vision likes ProPresenter 7 as a name. And then the dot immediately after that, that number is the major updates. Usually you get new features with 7.13, 7.12, 7.11, 7.10, etc. So all of those were feature releases. In between, they tend to have bug releases. So in the past, 7.10.4, for example, was a bug release. Uh, 7.11 didn't have any. They just released 7.12 with new features and bug release uh, stuff. So it's really surprising that this has happened. But I thought that we would take a look at the new feature. It's a subtle one. It's a minor one. And it's got a little nuance to it. So we need to uh, talk about that. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in 7. 10, 13, 1 beta. So I already know that there is at least one thing that they're probably going to fix before it becomes the full release version. Um, so let me show you, though, not all the bug fixes, because they do always do bug fixes, but let me instead show you the new feature. So if we were to... Um, go into, let's find a, a song here. I think my Wednesday service playlist is a good example of this. Let's go to Amazing Grace. So for some time, we've had the option to not re-trigger uh, backgrounds. So this is a perfect example. I have the same background on these two slides, and in the earlier versions of ProPresenter 7.11 and all the way back, if you did that, if you had the same background on multiple slides, it would restart with every slide. Well, they added a feature a while back, so the, that wasn't the case. So if we look at that, notice, pay attention down here. This is a subtle one, so at the bottom, when I change the slides, you'll notice that the the waves didn't change. So that's a good thing to know about that. So, but one little um, glitch, and I've come out with a couple of different hacks to get around that, is if you put video um, within a text box in ProPresenter, then it would re-trigger. So that could be a little annoying. So let's head into this. I'm going to right click and select Edit Slide. I could just as easily, by the way, uh, go up here to editor or it's control E on a Mac. It's probably alt E on Windows. Any of those would do it. So edit slide. And now if I click on this for this text box, notice right now I've got a fill that is a color. Instead, let me change that to a media fill. So I'm going to do that. That's going to pop up and say, hey, what media do you want to fill this in? Uh, let's do this one. No real reason. 
and this is now I've already brought this in you probably won't see this unless you're bringing this in for something else but uh, let me I could have done use existing or whatever but you see how that we have this um, motion background in here now one thing that you should know is if I click on the inspector right here and then go to I think it's this tab now nope, this is a new thing so Oh, here it is. Look right past it. You see where it says retrigger? Right now it's set to automatic, and that's the piece of the puzzle you need to know about. So, automatic means if it is a foreground image or foreground media, then it will retrigger. If it's background, it will not. So, when you think about it, that kind of makes sense that if you had a media clip and maybe you clicked on it too early and the video switcher wasn't showing it yet, um, then maybe you would want to click on it again and have it actually play the second time. Whereas if it's a background, it's probably something either abstract like this or nature footage like this where you would not want it to re-trigger. So that's what that's all about so that's what automatic means these two are the ones where you can decide absolutely without having to think now is this a foreground is it background what so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this to never so once I do that if I were to uh, copy text style and paste it down here on the next slide well something funky happened there but um, let's see here copy text style right click paste text style okay now I know what I did Earlier I had um, copied something and I clicked on the wrong thing. So anyway, it should be the case that got that there and this did not carry over. So let me paste textile, try it again. No. Nope. So if I had a theme to do that, in fact, I've already made a theme. So let me go ahead and we're going to go back here into show mode and um, I'm just going to select all here, right click, go down to themes, and I think I've got one called retrigger that I made not too long ago. Retrigger or not. Okay. So I'm going to select that here. Let me hide myself because that's the actual theme right there. Click that. And notice how it does take it a second, but it um, repopulates all of these slides with this theme here. So... Let's go back into right click edit slide. We're going to go back into edit mode just to make sure that that setting did in fact save. So I click on this, go to inspector, go to the second tab, and then down here re trigger never. Yes. So going back into show mode, if I get out of that click on this one 
and then the next one it did not re-trigger but just to show you um, what that looks like okay now and let me hide myself so watch down here and you'll notice that while the text does change this does not re-trigger so and by the way if I grab a background from down here and I drag it onto a slide let's do this empty slide here and then I right click on it and go to the inspector and the second choice here go down notice that this is set to automatic and remember automatic is if it's um, a background it won't re-trigger if it's a foreground it will re-trigger so we can tell from this icon right here that it is in fact a background so that tells me that this will not re-trigger or if I wanted to have control I could either choose never or always so let's just prove that that's the case set on automatic I'm gonna actually let me click on this and okay and then let me just drag this up here to this background so that it's more obvious okay going back here showing that and so now the background did not re-trigger neither did the background of the text box so that is something that is very helpful when you're in a situation where you need to have backgrounds on multiple slides or backgrounds in multiple text boxes for multiple slides in order that's that very helpful feature that they've added in ProPresenter 7.13.1 if you like this content you probably like my ProPresenter 7 quick start course so head on over to TDM dot FYI slash pro the number seven and quick give me your name and email address and I will make a login for you for free until next time this is Paul Allen Clifford from Trinity Digital Media dot com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.